I accidentally became a meme. And here's that story. Hey, I'm John Cena, WWE superstar, in the cast of the upcoming movie Vacation Friends on Hulu, and above all else, I am an internet meme. In order to explain the origin of these memes, I first need to explain how I got into sports entertainment. This all started for me in 1989, as Chuck D would say. You wouldn't guess it from how I'm dressed now, but I dressed a little different as a kid. Rap music was becoming extremely popular. The Beastie Boys had run DMC, NWA. I was from an area of the world that didn't care about that, but I did. I loved the rebellious nature of the message. I wasn't going through any of that struggle, but I really liked its loud, brash approach. The music just spoke to me. So I began to be immersed in rap and hip hop culture. And for that, in an area of the world that wasn't so immersed, I got my ass kicked every single day. And the core of the abuse was just, hey, dress like all of us. And I think at a young age, instead of folding, I doubled down and went even more ridiculous to get even more of my ass kicked. So as a way to defend myself, I asked my father for a home gym. This was at 12 or 13. And my grandfather convinced him and I got it for Christmas. Began working out Christmas day and here we are 32 years later and I haven't stopped. I followed WWF in the 80s as a young kid and I did not get into sports entertainment with any idea that I would ever make it to the WWE. I just really wanted to do it. So even doing small shows at flea markets in Los Angeles and Northern California, Tijuana, if there were five people there in a ring, I was probably there. It was a way for me to justify my nine to five existence so I could enjoy a weekend hobby. The toughest thing for anyone in entertainment is to somehow find a way to captivate an audience. You have to create a personality for yourself and invest in that personality and hope people get it. And my character was the prototype, half man, half machine, and 100% rotten. It was so bad, but I was invested in it. And it was enough to catch the eye of a scout to send me to Kentucky. So I got to be an understudy of one of their prominent performers. And then I made it to WWE. And the first thing they said was like, drop the prototype, cut your hair, and be a good guy. So I debuted as John Cena, the most stale, unentertaining character you could imagine, and was just about to be fired after a year and a half of me trying to connect with the audience. And on what was supposed to be one of my last tours, when we go overseas, we all travel together. And in the back of the bus, people were freestyling. And I remember I just went back and joined in, and in the front of the bus, the creative department, a few people were like, hey, how did you remember all that? I'm like, well, the concept behind freestyle rap is you just kind of think on your feet. And they're like, well, would you want to do that on TV? Yes, I do. And it really gave me a chance to invest in costuming, mannerisms, delivery, personality. I'm not the most technically proficient guy. I'm not the biggest aerial performer, but I really love the make-believe aspect. I really genuinely do, and the storytelling aspect. And being the rap guy, I bought in, all in. And I mean like, did rap battles in the parking lots of arenas, and they'd bring in rappers for me to have freestyle battles with, and I, and I didn't win them all. Like I'd get burned, I'd get scorched, and there were some that I would win. And it was fun and interactive. Imagine this, the one thing that I got my ass kicked for as a teenager, dressing different and embracing hip hop culture, was the catalyst to me connecting with a global WWE audience. We were in production of new theme music for the, the John Cena rap identity. So we recorded about like 85 songs. Keep in mind, there are only like 16 on the You Can't See Me album. And I remember hearing this one beat, and it was the beat for My Time Is Now. Build up to the crescendo and the horns and the brass and the heavy hit of the bass, like it had everything. And we would always use my little brother as kind of our litmus test because he was a really harsh critic and if he enjoyed it, I knew we were okay. And I remember him just going like this and like getting lost in it. And I think he was doing what was, I think, the Tony Yeo dance at the time where Tony Yeo would put his hand in front of his face and shake his head. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? And it was ridiculous. And he's like, I'm doing the Yayo dance. I'm like, okay, I'll do that on TV to pay homage to you liking the beat because I'm going to go with this for the song. And he dared me. And on the dare, I was like, yo, I'm definitely doing it. 
So instead of doing the yayo dance, I kind of did the reverse because I figured it would be more visible to, to show my brother on TV, like, hey, I'm doing the thing that you dared me to do. You Can't See Me is kind of a way to talk smack in hip hop culture of like, you're not on my level. So I kind of put the two and two together, just really trying to make one person in West Newbury, Massachusetts laugh. Now we come to the internet and the internet was like, we can't see this guy. I don't know why, like I became invisible. And the cool joke was that either if I was in a picture, I wasn't. It'd be like, okay, this is just a chair talking to you. Or people would take their picture with John Cena, which is simply like pointing at nothing. Or if nothing was there, it'd be like, yo, I can't believe John Cena crashed our party. I did an interview before this where the audio technician pinned the mic on me. And when he's pinning the mic on me, he's like, I didn't know I, I didn't be able to see where to put it. And I never get offended. I love hearing it. I think it's extremely creative. It's something that's been in the internet cycle for so long, but it still never gets old. So as you can see, I am a veteran uh, of memes and the internet, but fear not internet. I am far from finished. My character Ron in Vacation Friends, I have a feeling there will be some memes, some that will make me laugh, some that might make me cry, but all of which you will enjoy. So I'll be checking your Hulu account and seeing if you're watching Vacation Friends because I got my eyes on you.